Hi, my name is Judy. Welcome to Go With Yin Yoga. Today I am offering a meditation where we will be visualizing our edges. In August of 2022, I'm offering you a lot of practices, very simple but very effective practices, built around the theme of edges, because that's a very, very important principle in yin yoga, which I'm not going to delve too, too much, much further into because I talk a lot about it in these practices. But I also wanted to give you a meditation, and that may actually push your edges as well because some people are very resistant to meditation so I really hope that you will give this a try and see what comes up for you bring yourself into an easy seated position or you can be laying on your mat if you are sitting I invite you to sit up on something so that your hips are higher than your knees it makes it more comfortable to sit you also can sit against a wall that can feel very nice and you can also sit on the edge of a chair with your feet flat on the floor. If it's comfortable for you, I'd like you to close your eyes. If that's not comfortable, shut them down as much as is comfortable and just let your gaze become unfocused. And I'd like you to see in your mind's eye what the area around you is like at the moment. I'm outside, there are trees, there are plants, there are animals, there are ants. <laughs> so when you see me shearing something off my body, most likely it's an ant. What do you hear around you? Again, I'm outside and I hear the wind coming through the trees, it's a very soothing sound. I hear birds chirping. I hear traffic as well. I don't live too, too far from a fairly major road. Next, I'd like you to think about what you're hearing. Nope, we just covered that, sorry. Next, I would like you to think about what you taste. You may not taste anything. I really don't. It's been a long time since breakfast. Perhaps you taste something really yummy, makes you smile, or maybe there's a sour taste in your, mind, your mouth. Neither is better than the other, it just is. And now I'd like you to take your attention to what you feel. What are you touching? In fact, I'd like you to turn your palms, the back of your palms onto your thighs or your knees if that's comfortable for you and bring the tip of your index finger to the tip of your thumb on both hands and just touch them together. So notice what you're feeling. Notice how that feels, touching your, the tips of your fingers together, letting the palms of your hands rest on your thighs. How does your clothes feel? If you're outside like me, how does that breeze across your body feel? And finally, I'd like you to bring your attention to your breath. Notice how it's showing up for you today. Where do you feel your breath? Is it in your stomach? Is it in your chest? Is it in your nose? How does that breath feel? Does it feel short and shallow? Does it feel relaxed and long? Letting your spine grow longer out of your pelvis. Letting your shoulders melt down your back. Relaxing your neck and your jaw and your tongue. 
smoothing out your forehead, just come into a really relaxed state. And I'm going to lead you through a few short visualizations. First, I'd like you to visualize a time where you pushed past your edge, your physical edge. Or maybe it was your mental edge. Maybe it was your emotional edge. What happened? Did you injure yourself? Did you cry? Did you become angry or frustrated? How did that feel in your body? Even if it was an emotional or mental edge, how did it feel in your body? If you were angry, did you feel your body tensing up? Maybe you feel your body tensing up just as I mentioned anger. If it was emotional, did your heart hurt? Or maybe your throat closed up? And now let that go. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out through your nose. Now I'd like to, for you to imagine a time when you let fear hold you back from going past your edge. I can tell you, for instance, one time I signed up for rowing lessons. I'd always watch the rowers. They looked so serene, so calm. It just looked so peaceful. And I showed up for about the first three or four of the lessons. And it wasn't so calm. And it wasn't serene and peaceful. And it made me very nervous. Even though I'm a strong swimmer, the boats are very tippy. And for whatever reason, that just made me nervous. And I stuck with it, though. I did push past my edge. I stayed with it until we were, we started out in groups. And I stayed with it until we were in boats by ourselves. And I got myself over to the shore. And the instructors talked me about how to get away from there and get back into the middle of the, the lake, as they called it. It wasn't really a lake. And I got back to the dock. And they congratulated me. They said, oh, you did a great job. You did really, really good. And I never came back. It's not something I regret, quite frankly. It just wasn't for me. So I did push past that edge. But I came to realize it wasn't an edge that I was really interested in exploring more. Now, whatever you've been thinking about, go ahead and let that go. Take a few deep breaths. Now, I'd like you to visualize a time when you came to an edge and you allowed yourself to push past it just the right amount. How did that feel? Did that make you happy? excited, proud? Did you feel as if you grew from the experience? Just really see it in your mind's eye. Relive all the feelings you felt when you pushed past that edge you didn't think you can push past. close this meditation practice, we are going to take three deep cleansing breaths, which is something we've been practicing along with the edges practices this entire month. It's very simple. You breathe in deeply through your nose and then sigh it all out through your mouth. I'll demo it once and then join me. Inhale deeply and then ah. 
Really just let it all go. Now join me. <sighs> Breathe it all out through an open mouth. Last time. Go ahead and release your index and thumb. So let your palms just rest on top of your thighs for a couple breaths here. And bring the palms of your hands together. And as you do so, think about the edges. Think about bringing your edges together, going forward over them. And slowly let your head bow over your hands and begin to blink your eyes open, taking in your mat and the rest of the room, raising your face and smiling. I hope you have a clearer picture of what the edges are now. And this is something, it's, it's, your edge constantly changes. So I invite you to revisit this meditation again and again. And you may come up with new times when you've passed through an edge and it didn't end well, or when you've let some fear hold you back, or times when you push past an edge and it felt great because that happens. I promise it happens. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I invite you to go out and start pushing past those edges, seeing what comes up for you in mind, body, and soul. If you like this meditation, go ahead and click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel or underneath in the description box, go ahead and click the link to subscribe to my newsletter. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be at peace.